Hey guys, welcome back. Um, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to change the colors uh, very easily, very quickly. And we did this little monster character in the previous video. You can check it out here. But now I wanna change the colors. Now, I could go ahead and select them and go to the uh, materials and then click on the material and then change the color there. Not a big deal. Undo. Oops, undo. Um, but a faster, easier way, or I should say maybe just a different way, because that was pretty easy, uh, is to go into the um, modifiers and add a modifier. And we're going to add this hue and saturation modifier, and we can change the hue and change the saturation, saturate it a bit and change the value. The value makes it lighter or darker. And the saturation saturates the color or desaturates the color. And it's, and, and the cool thing is it, uh, you can choose where you want to apply this. For example, not right now it's applying to everything, but I can choose a layer. I can choose the lines layer. Then I can choose the fills layer, or I could choose the shadow layer underneath. Uh, you can choose whatever layer. So if you are hoping to do this, you can put all the stuff that you want to change in a different layer and then choose that layer. I'm going to delete this option so that it applies on everything. And you can choose the material um, that we can apply it to. For example, the green and everything else stays the same. Uh, or, or maybe the horns. Maybe, um, let's say, the stomach changes. Uh, or whatever. If I delete this option, it applies it to everything. Uh, but there it is, guys. Uh, one of the other cool things about this, it's, it is non-destructive. That means that even though you've changed the colors, all you have to do is delete the, the, um, the modifier and it will go back to its original colors. I'm just going to not preview it in the display Oop. and it'll go back to the, its original color. So when I preview it, boom, there it is. We can change the colors and and also we can animate it. Every time you see this little um, dot to the right of the property, you can animate that property. For example, let's go ahead and animate this. Let's uh, reveal the timeline. This is our timeline. I've got a um, keyframe. Let's keyframe the hue. Uh, right there at frame one, the hue has been keyframed and then we'll travel to maybe 50 and then we'll change it. We'll go back to this purple and keyframe it there. And then we'll go to 100 and then go back to blue and keyframe it right there. So if you play it, it goes to purple right there and the blue so hey guys I hope that this was helpful that way you can animate the colors the hue and saturation modifier plus again non-destructive you can I can delete this modifier and it goes back to the way it was uh, again guys I hope that this was helpful to you if you like the video go ahead and give me a, th a thumbs up Click that like button and subscribe and I will see you on the next one. Thank you guys.